Welcome to Money Doctor Show. I'm C.S. Sudhir. When it comes to purchasing life insurance, people get confused between savings and insurance. I suggest not to really put in your money in these traditional endowment plans or money back plans because they are not going to give you good returns. Eventually, you may end up with receiving 5, 5.5% or 6% return, which is not going to even beat the inflation. So it's better to invest in mutual funds or any other good investment options for long run because these investment the traditional insurance plans will anyway offer you long term but then the point i'm here to discuss today i'm talking about term insurance riders when you are purchasing term insurance many people go for various riders should you really go for these riders because when you go for these riders what happens you know, you'll end up with paying a lot more premium. So, I'm going to talk about the riders which are important, should be added with your term insurance policy and should not be added. There are primarily two important riders. One is critical illness rider, other one is accidental disability and death uh, benefit rider. So this accidental disability and death benefit rider will provide you extra compensation in case if you meet with an accident, you lose your hand, lose your leg, or you are permanently disabled or temporarily disabled. In such cases, you'll be able to claim these benefits. But the point is, this is something which you can actually avail it along with your term insurance policy and will continue as long as you continue with your term insurance policy. I recommend you not to continue with your term insurance policy beyond 65 years. In fact, these days some insurance companies are offering you term insurance policies up to 99, but it's actually not required. It's not right to do that because you need a term insurance policy in case if you die during your working life, your family should not suffer. But once you retire from work, you will not really have any economic loss to your financial loss to your family. Hence, it doesn't really matter and you'll end up with paying a hell lot of extra premium and you will really lose money. So I don't recommend you to go for a longer than 60, 65 years. Worst case, 70, not more than that. But then when you buy a critical illness benefit rider, you'll be locked in. I'll tell you why. When you add critical illness benefit rider along with your term insurance policy, the premium will be added and you'll have to pay that as long as you continue with the policy. But in case if you opted for 60 or 65 years term and then if you stop paying the premium because it ex the policy expires, after the expiry you are still alive, you are still worried about your health condition. That time if you are looking for a fresh health insurance policy, you will end up with paying a lot more premium. And more importantly, you may not even get this uh, new policies. So I recommend you not to mix critical illness benefit rider along with your term insurance, but it's good to meant, mix your accidental death and disability benefit rider. In fact, in Financial Freedom Workshop, we talk about risk planning in detail, in depth. We talk about risk of death, risk of disability illness, risk of losing assets, risk of unpaid or unclear loans. So liability. So in case if you wish to plan your financials in detail and start your journey to becoming rich, please attend Financial Freedom Workshop. To, for, to, to know more about Financial Freedom Workshop, please give a missed call on 0226181611. My team will assist you further about it. I'll be back with another topic tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be wise, get rich.